This is the story of Noah and the ark and the wonderful promise that God made to us through the rainbow. So after I read this story, we wanted to recreate the story. So I had lots of blocks out and the children were able to make an ark and we had animals, so the children were able to go through the little rubber animals and pick them out two by two and make their own ark. If you don't have any blocks, that's okay, because actually another group of children decided they wanted to make an ark, but not have a box. So they took some of the chairs in our classroom and built an ark. And again, all the other animals were being taken by the other group of children. So they actually went around the classroom and gathered like objects. Say, for example, they found two vases of flowers. So they pretended that two vases of flowers was Noah's wife. And then they found two books and they decided the books could have been two crabs. So there's lots of different things you can do if you don't have the blocks. So again, we wanted to recreate the story of Noah and the ark and God's promise. But what a better way to always remember God's promise than to have a rainbow in their home. So I wanted the children to be able to take home their own rainbow. So what I did is I took a paper plate I cut them in half so it would kind of resemble like the, the clouds and some cotton balls. And so some of the children covered the cloud with cotton balls. Whatever they do, it's fine. Again, it's the process, not the product. I actually had some scraps of paper out of a recycling bin and the children grabbed whatever the color they wanted and they went ahead and made their own rainbow to take home. So again, the focus of this um, lesson is God's promise to us that he will always love us and always take care of us. So what a wonderful reminder for the children to take home as God's promise to us, as we always promise to love him. And that's the tip for lesson nine, God always loves us. Thank you and God bless you.